Hello everyone, Gary here and welcome to a brand new deck tech video. Today I'm going to talk about my new GVG Shaman deck and yeah, I've been working on it for a while now and I was also like going over the deck list with Colentos and I think it's pretty solid and I'm going over the deck list here. I still play Double Urshock since Silence is a very important um, debuff right now or yes, effect. And yeah, Shaman has the access to Earthshock and I like this more than Owl or Spellbreaker so I still play a double Earthshock and it's nice energy with the uh, Twilight Ra Ashu Drakes and with the Spell Power Totem. Rockbiter is a combo with minions to remove bigger threats to get efficient trades. Also like to get uh, burst damage in in the late game to finish off your opponents and you can combo it with the weapons as well to finish off bigger minions. Crackle, it's a very, it's a new card, it's pretty broken, it does a lot of damage, it's... The thing about Lightning Bolt is you oftentimes use Lightning Bolt in turn 2 to clear a minion, so it basically does the same, just does more damage. It deals a minimum of 3 damage, which is the same as Lightning Bolt, it still overloads as 1. So only in turn 1 Lightning Bolt would be better than Crackle in my opinion. And yeah, it can kill off big minions sometimes, when you have a spell power totem it does up to 7 damage, which basically kills almost everything and on top of that you can use it as a finisher card it does a lot of burst damage uh, to the opponent's face when you're yeah when you're close to lethal it's a very strong card Annoyatron it's very annoying as the name says for your opponent to deal with you play this card when they have weapons they have to attack the vine shield very often if they have no board it's very annoying um, a very nice synergy with Flame Tongue Totem or Argus. Um, it's a mech, so it has synergy with the Power Mace as well. Like I figured out, you need at least five or six mechs if you want to play this weapon, just to get the maximum effect out of it. And I decided to play Anohyatron, uh, Harvest Golem because they are like the two best mechs for Shaman because they have very good synergy with the Flame Tongue Totem, and a Candle Fire as the as the third mech. Uh, it's a t uh, taunt minion if, as a 4 drop, you, you usually don't have a 4 drop, so I cut one Argus to uh, to fit this card in. And it can't be targeted by spells or hero power, so it's very difficult for the opponent to remove this card. So when you get when this card gets buffed with the power mace, so it's a 4-7, and they have to use minions to clear this minion. So it's very strong, if you set up the power mace already, then you can have a 4-7 taunt that can't be removed by spells on turn 4 which is very strong and it protects totems so yeah because it is a taunt minion so it's very nice uh, I still play the Feral Spirits as a strong card uh, late game I like it more than early game when when you use your life total to remove stuff and you the, uh, the nature of shaman you will drop very low and you have no heal then you need like taunts to protect yourself once you have the bot control and it has very good synergy with the flame tongue totem as well. Hex is the best hard removal in the game, it's very strong in control matches. Lightning Storm is a bot clear because a lot of people just spam the bot with a lot of stick, uh, sticky minions or like even Paladin now um, will spam the bot with a lot of minions. So Lightning Storm, I, I try to play one but whenever I test one I, I miss the second one. So you can decide for yourself if you want to cut one of these. Harvest Golem is a very sticky minion, it's very strong, especially in the mirror matchup. It's a mech as well after the buff, even the second golem is a mech, so it can be buffed by the power mace. So it's very strong, I really like this card. Uh, Arcane Nullifier, as I mentioned earlier, the main reason is because it's a mech and it's a it's a pretty good one. I still play Argus uh, because it's very nice in a shaman deck because you can buff the totems everything and get efficient clears and it's a taunt. I should drink still because you don't play Talnos, you don't have spell power. Uh, you, you cut the mana types, you have no card draw, so this card just fulfills everything. It has spell power, it's a 5 drop because you have no 5 drop. It draws a card, it's it's a strong minion, nice energy with lightning storm to an 8, it's it's a good card. Fundamental, just overall best 6 drop for a shaman to play with, gains you a lot of tempo. Neptulon, it, it's a very very strong card, the strongest legendary in my opinion. It gives you 4 cards, you, you don't have to see it as murlocs, like it just gives you 4 minions. And you don't draw them from your deck, you draw them from yeah, from from space. So you have a 34 card deck as Shaman. So it's a very strong card in my opinion. It's a 7-7 seven, seven for 7. Very strong stats. It's a War Golem. Yeah, it can be BGH'd, but who cares? So this is my deck list. I will also show you some games. I hope you like it and see you guys in the games.